There you go, guys. Brian's signature and Noah's signature. Go ahead and enter for the contest, and I'll pick someone random. <laughs> on guys Andy Gabs back again for another vlog unfortunately today is my last day here at BHB reptiles in Michigan with the bar checks uh, but I couldn't think of a better way to end my trip out here by going through all of the ambassador animals that Brian has here uh, I honestly don't even know how many it is like maybe 20 or so different animals uh, so we're gonna go through each one give you guys an update and show you how they're doing uh, and then I think I'm also gonna be doing a giveaway with Brian. Um, it's just going to be a t-shirt or something like that, but I will have more information on that at the end of this video, so stay tuned. See how it goes, girl? Oh, gosh, so she cool. looks so good against the rock in there. I don't know. I just think it's going to be amazing. I think that she can climb up here. I mean, there's all kinds of little areas. I just I just think it's going to be a perfect cage, but again, we'll give her a couple days. If it doesn't seem like it's a good fit, we'll find another cage for her. Like I've been saying all along, I really want the animals to tell me as much as I tell them where they're going to end up, but for now, it just looks amazing. Look at that. So I said that I was going to show you guys all the ambassador animals that Brian has, and as you saw just before this, he just introduced Perdita into her new enclosure over at the Reptarium, and it's crazy, like she's big, right? She's not a small snake at all, but this cage, it makes her look tiny so she can really grow into it, and eventually she'll need to move into a much bigger cage than this. There she is in the new cage. So awesome. All right, so the next cool ambassador animal that I want to show you guys is actually Taz, who you can see out of focus behind me, uh, but I'm actually sitting inside of his cage. So it gives you guys an idea of how big the cages actually are. He's definitely coming to check me out. What's up, Taz? It looks like he's gonna walk right to the front of the cage to come say hi. And if you've never felt a tegu, they feel really, really cool. They feel almost like footballs, like the texture of their, their skin is awesome. So that was Taz, the black and white Argentinian tegu. There you go, sweetie. There you go. You never have to worry about her yeah. at all. She's, she hiss a little bit, but yeah. that's about it. And she likes to squeeze you a little bit too. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> so yeah, this is Sunrise, the albino Burmese python. I think this is probably, her Bella would probably be my favorite ambassador animals. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. They're just yeah, so Bella's cool. amazing, yeah. Sunrise is great, you know, I mean, she's got that size. I can't believe she was only like this big, just like a year ago. I know. Around. She's grown so much, and now that she's in a bigger cage and all that stuff, now she's obviously, he loves, she's gonna eat a lot more and stuff yeah. like that, so she's gonna get even bigger, so that's gonna be amazing. Yeah, it's crazy how big she is, but so that's Sunrise, the albino Burmese python. So this, as you can see, is Nova the Frill Dragon. This is one of my favorite species of lizards. I feel like they look so crazy when they actually flare up their little flaps that go around their head. It makes them look huge, and that's one of their defense mechanisms. It looks absolutely amazing. And this is the perfect enclosure for her, too. Whoa, oh, that was perfect. That was sweet, dude. <laughs> Got it. Bye, Nola. <laughs> this is another one of Brian's huge ambassador animals, Daisy. She's a reticulated python. As you can see, she's absolutely gorgeous. I don't want to get her out right now just because I don't have to battle with her to get out and then put back in. But yeah, she is so, so pretty. And again, her enclosure is absolutely giant. All right, and of course my favorite ambassador animal is sunbathing right now and she does not want to come down and I really don't want to go climb inside of her cage to get her out. But you guys have seen her before on both Brian and Noah's channel a million times. It is Bella the Rhinoceros Iguana. So you can see her laying right there. She's just kind of like half sunbathing, I guess, but she's just sitting there relaxing. And like we've had her out a bunch of times, but she just doesn't want to come out right now. And this cage, you can tell how small it makes her look. She is big and this cage makes her look tiny. Yeah, you can see her right there. So how big, she's probably, I'd say like three feet long with her tail, give or take. Uh, and you can tell, so she's sitting right there. It's crazy. Next up, we got Chicken Strip, the albino Nile monitor, who is all the way in his sunspot. So I'm gonna try to get him out right now. How's that feel? Not great. Ooh! That was a big whip. I just want to get smacked in the face. I love these guys. They're so cool, dude. Whack! <laughs> Yep, 
Chip. That hurts, dude. Why? It's like Jurassic Park in here, bro. Can you come out there? No, I'm just gonna say, all right, Chicken Trip's not in the mood to come out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as you guys can see, Chicken Strip is not in the mood to come out. He caught me a couple times. You can see oh, the yeah. line on my arm where his tail got me. Definitely doesn't feel good, so we're just gonna leave him alone. I don't wanna stress him out too much. <laughs> and another one of BHB's favorite ambassadors is actually right here. One thing that's not related to all the ambassador animals is something that me and Noah got done today, which was doing all of the lighting in this whole center aisle. And you guys are actually getting like a VIP look right now because this is gonna be like a VIP only area when the Reptarium opens. I'm just kidding, it's not. It's just like storage that's space. Why. It's yeah, just storage space. <laughs> Everyone just called me out in the Reptarium all at once. But yeah, so me and Noah got all of these lights in for the center cages so you can see some of them are hooked up and then the bottom ones uh, have to be ran through an extension cord but it's definitely coming together I can't wait to see it finally done but now back to the ambassador animals wait, 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 wait. guys a little secret don't tell my mom we're gonna have a little bar back here a couple lazy boys so if you use discount code bad choice Noah on your purchase of the ticket what what's up what was that <laughs> Cut. All right, so this is Fetty Wap, another one of the ambassador animals, and uh, Noah's recording me right now. Noah, how did he get the name Fetty Wap? Because he has one eye, like the rapper. He's got one eye. Look at that. The other one, it's actually kind of open right now. You can see it's like kind of glazed over. Yeah. He's so like he, blind or whatever. So he's got one eye, just like the rapper Fetty Wap. So another ambassador animal that's kind of cool that I honestly have not messed with the whole time that I've been here is Chubby Monkey. Look at how big this guy is. Like, I do not have little hands whatsoever, and he's almost the size of both of my hands together. Another super, super cool animal. And he's gonna get so much bigger than this, too. Another awesome animal right here is Karma the Panther Chameleon. I just love how, like, interesting chameleons are as a species, like all of the different ones. They're just beautiful animals. So yeah, you got Karma right there, and then right next to Karma, you have guacamole. Hey, Brian, guacamole is a Mellor's chameleon, right? And then you have Guacamole, the male Mellor's Chameleon, and he is absolutely huge. If you just see my hand next to him, he is giant and absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to see him in his double wide, super tall enclosure over on the other side, but you can actually see he's getting a little bit dark, so we're gonna leave him alone. And then this is obviously Rick and Morty, the two-headed red ear slider turtle. So cool. Animals with two heads just blow my mind. Like, what do you think? Do you think they like think to each other? Like, because they can't like talk, but I don't know. I feel like they like think to each other, you know what I mean? So crazy. I absolutely love potato mice. Centralian blue tongue skink, of course, this is what they call a multi fasciata. These guys are really rare. You know, you see northerns, you see easterns, but there's not a lot of multi fasciata in the country. This particular animal was actually related to rare earth that goes back like 20 something years in the country. Regardless, I only have this little buddy here, but uh, he is absolutely amazing. I don't think I've included RJ enough. He is absolutely awesome. I love the fact that he only has three legs. You know, I used to have a golden tegu that only had three legs and they still get around perfectly fine. It doesn't affect them at all. They're just super, super cool. Ooh. All right, so right here we got Bowser. Bowser is a, whoa. Jesus. Bowser is a alligator snapping turtle. Bowser is a huge alligator snapping turtle. Uh, obviously he's not that happy to be out right now, so I'm gonna put him back in, but man, he is crazy heavy, and you can just feel how strong he is. <laughs> there you go, Bowser. Oh, oh. So right here, another awesome animal ambassador. This is a pied ball python, but it's got a smiley face right there. How cool is that? A ball python that smiles at you. And there's also like almost another one right there. Yeah. Like that really does look like a smiley too. Yeah. That's crazy. It's a double smiley ball python. Super cool. Absolutely awesome. Our second to last animal ambassador is Verde the green anaconda. Uh, she was in another one of my videos and I just love how they look. Their spots and like just their strength, like even at this size, 
she is squeezing my hand and it's just crazy for how little she is. Give it a few years and this will be one big snake. This is Helen. Helen is a albino ball python that doesn't have any eyes. I don't know if you guys can see that, but on both sides of her head she has no eyes, but she has no trouble eating. She doesn't have to be a cis fed. Like how crazy is that, that this ball python is thriving right now with no eyes. I absolutely love it. It's such an interesting animal. All right guys, Brian was nice enough to let me give away a t-shirt on my channel. So like this video, you have to be subscribed to the channel and comment and say that you want the t-shirt. I'll go ahead and pick someone and then I'll mail the shirt out to you. Brian's gonna sign it. As well as Noah. So, oh man, now it's worth nothing. Yeah, I mean now. I it's meant my kind of signature. Worth Noah's is worth something. Mine is not so much. Yeah. Yeah. All right, but thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Go ahead, hit that like button. There you go, guys. Brian's signature and Noah's signature. Go ahead and enter for the contest, and I'll pick someone random. Thanks a lot, guys. You guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I really appreciate you guys watching. Unfortunately, I have to leave VHB Reptiles. Uh, I was here for like four days, and I just I feel like it went so fast. Like being here, we did so much though. Like I got a ton accomplished and it was awesome. And I'll be coming back soon. I say within like the next six months, I'll probably come back to see the Reptarium finally completed. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please like the video if you liked it. And if you didn't still like it for me, it would help me out. Comment, tell me what you thought. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I appreciate it guys. See ya.